Safeway Hall. How? How? How do you say? How y'all do? All right, guys, and welcome to Quick Court to the Lane. Uh, this week, I am going to be filming for you guys um, what I bought at Safeway. I just came from Safeway. It was kind of an impromptu. It's about 9.15. It was an impromptu trip in an attempt to get Maddie to go to sleep. She was really fussy because of her teething, but nothing a car ride will not fix. So, ended up, I was just going to go to Safeway to buy, what was I going to buy? Ground beef. 40 minutes later. Mm, yeah, I kind of went macro shopping what? a little bit, so I'll show you guys what I got. All right. Safeway. All right, so I'll put it away. First, I got this uh, tea, since I need to work on my detox, apparently, according to my nutrition guy. So um, this is good. I can drink this, too, when I'm on my um, fast, like when I'm done eating for the day, and I just want an activity to do. Like, sometimes you just want, like, something other than water. So I got tea that in a moment. Q-tips, very important. You gotta hold this over before our next Costco haul. <laughs> if you guys want to see a Costco haul, haul, um, <laughs> let me know I'll do a straws because why not. Also I drink um, when I do my apple cider vinegar and diluted. I start drinking with a straw because um, straw for the haul. What? No, um, the straw because uh, some people say the vinegar, the apple cider vinegar, could be too strong and uh, break your teeth or whatever, break down the teeth, enamel and whatnot. So if I drink it through a straw, maybe I'll, you know, bypass the front teeth at least, the part that counts. So got that. All right. Another thing I got is these rice cakes. Uh, so. I think like sometimes when I'm, I still have like carb macros at night and fats. Um, but I'm done with everything else. I can put almond butter on this. It has only eight grams of carbs per rice cake. It's like made with brown rice. And um, yeah, instead of, sometimes I want my almond butter on toast and the toast has 20 grams of carbs. So you're like, oh, well, I can't do that. Then you want to have half a toast. So this way you're still getting like the feeling like it's a lot of volume, but uh, not as much carbs. So I got that. I'm really excited about this for maybe tomorrow or sometime this week. I'll let you know how that turns out. I got some peas for when Maddie hits her head. No, this one, the peas have a lot of protein actually. So pea protein, that's why I make a um, pea protein powder, which I've tried before. And um, anyways, just to mix in with some of my rice or whatever this week, so it doesn't get boring. It may, like tastes kind of, makes the rice taste like fried rice. And especially if you put um, Bragg's liquid aminos, um, it makes it taste like bra uh, brown rice. Uh, hold on, I'll show you guys what I mean. This, I add this on everything. It's like an excellent, um, it's an excellent soy substitute. It's made with aminos, building block for protein. So, that's why I'm going to try to fit this into my macros sometime this week. Maybe after training tomorrow. Um, I am tracking macros and calories, so... Um, yeah, so it might be worth it. Maybe I'll just do half, but you can't really just do half of this. So, candy bar's my favorite, even though there's ones that only have 280 calories. That one, if you're gonna go for it, you gotta go for it. I got some of Maddie's macros, and I got, um, organic bone broth. It's really good for you. Um, it has only 40 calories per cup. Winslow! 40 calories per cup and 9 grams of protein, no carbs, 95 milligrams of sodium, and 0.5 grams of fat per cup, which is kind of a lot. So this is good if you want. Wenzel, this is good if you want to make um, soup or you want to get some of your protein macros in. And but it's very good. It has a lot of health benefits that maybe I can do for another quick works, but. Um, when I was doing intermittent fasting before, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about how good it is to break your fast in the morning with bone broth. It's like really good for like cell oxidation and whatnot. All right, so that's that. 
and a garlic and onion because when I saute my meat sometimes I put a little bit of this just to give it a little more flavor and when I saute meat I'm talking about my um, 93 7 ground beef very lean and this is the other thing I got uh, ground turkey breast Matt one time got regular ground turkey and I made him go back what? to the store because it wasn't breast because the regular ground turkey has like 13 grams or 14 grams of fat per four ounces this one has 1.5 so it's quite a big difference especially since I'm um, tracking like every little thing that I put in my mouth so, so there you go I'm gonna have that for the week that's my Safeway haul to put Maddie to sleep. Um, if you guys like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you watch all my videos all the way through. And I thank you guys for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So it says... This detox tea says, love is to live for somebody. Love is not to live with somebody. I don't get it, guys. Sometimes, if you don't have God in your life, this is the kind of stuff you got to deal with. Love is to live for somebody. No, guys, no. <sighs> Anyways, just kidding. Love, God is love. So as long as you got God in your heart, in your life, doesn't matter who you're with or what's going on, uh, as long as you're doing what God wants you to do.